Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate van vandaag 10 april 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. As always in weekends, our bulletin will be in English. We have some news for you from the RSTB and from WIA. And in addition to that, some own DX news. Because of the length of the news, today we have only a short CW session and an SSTV image in BW8. Hello, this is Bob McCready, GK0FGX, with the TX Talk podcast of the GB2 RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain for Sunday the 10th of April 2016. World Amateur Radio Day, observed every year on the 18th of April, marks the founding of the International Amateur Radio Union in 1925. Radio amateurs worldwide will take to the airwaves to celebrate amateur radio's contribution to society. The IARU has provided a World Amateur Radio Day poster that can be downloaded from IARU.org under the Operating tab. Amateurs are encouraged to promote their activity on social media by using the hashtag WARD. 2016. The surprise visit to North Korea by Dom 3 Zulu 9 Delta X ray last December, where he gave a demonstration of amateur radio to local officials, has been given approval for DXCC credit. The call sign used was Papa 5 forward slash 3 Zulu 9 Delta X ray, and he made in the region of 785 QSOs, and it's hoped that further visits may be possible in the future. The RSGB sponsors HFD expeditions to the rarer countries through a fund that is supported each year from proceeds of a raffle held at the annual RSGB convention, as well as income from legacies and donations. The Society wishes to put on record its thanks to Colin Thomas, Golf 3 Papa Sierra Mike, who is stepping down as trustee of the fund after 19 years, and to welcome two new trustees, Martin Atherton, Golf 3 Zulu Alpha Yankee, and Gordon Rowland, Golf 3 Uniform Sierra Romeo. Details of the fund are on the RSGB website under the Operating tab. The Martin Lynch Training Academy is hosting an RSGB Train the Trainers session in Staines on Thames on Saturday the 23rd of April. The course will run from 9.30am until 5pm and is free for RSGB members. Train the Trainers is designed to encourage and support anyone delivering foundation, intermediate and or advanced licensed classes who is not already a professional teacher. It's a fun day delivered by three enthusiastic professional teachers and keen radio amateurs who between them have over 50 years experience in the classroom. To book a place, please email steve at hamradio.co.uk. Steve at hamradio.co.uk. Ofcom have revised their guidance notes relating to the UK amateur radio licence. The document should be read in conjunction with the licence and is intended to help licensees understand and comply with the licence terms and conditions. It can be downloaded from the Ofcom website or via the shortcut tinyurl.com forward slash Ofcom hyphen AR hyphen 2016. tinyurl.com forward slash Ofcom hyphen AR hyphen 2016. The April-May edition of the online Radcom Basics is now available to RSGB members and was emailed to subscribers last week. It contains features on receiving transmissions from the International Space Station, part two of the feature on making homemade coaxial trap antennas, getting your first HF award with International Marconi Day, plus a look at JT65. Radcom Basics is aimed at new amateurs and those who may want to find out more about aspects of the hobby they may never have considered. You can find out more about Radcom Basics and subscribe in the publication section of the RSGB website, which is, of course, rsgb.org. From Australia, this is VK1WIA. Kent may get two magnificent 300-plus metre masts which will carry microwave radio to link Europe to London to help speed up financial transactions. The Guardian newspaper reports two competing companies New Line Networks and Vigilant Global, high-frequency trading firms that depend on high-speed communications, want to build masts within a few miles of each other in Kent. The use of microwave radio links rather than cable is expected to knock many milliseconds off the time it takes to get to the City of London, which could provide considerable financial benefits. Vigilant and NLN say the masts will also improve local internet and mobile phone reception. But what goes up must come down, and with a bang. A series of implosions is all it took to bring down 48 radio towers that have been a part of US history for over 50 years. 
It happened Monday morning at the old Voice of America Site A in Beaufort County, not used since 2006. The VOA site was sold to Beaufort County as surplus US property. The Environmental Holdings Group of Morrisville teamed up with Controlled Demolition Incorporated to implode and haul off the 48 towers, which took less than a minute for it all to come crumbling down. Voice of America still broadcasts from Site B to Latin America, Cuba, the Caribbean and Africa. Lisa Linders, Papa Alpha 2 Lima Sierra, Youth Working Group Chair for IAU Region 1, has confirmed that Youngsters on the Air 2017 summer camp will be held in the UK and organised by the RSGB. The Society looks forward to welcoming teams of young amateurs from some 15 countries to Region 1 to the UK in August 2017. The RSGB Youth Committee and RSGB HQ will be working hard over the coming months to deliver a great Yota event. OGB2WS... GB2WS, wherefore art thou, GB2WS? Shakespeare 400 Special Event Station from Stratford-upon-Avon. On the 23rd of April 2016, Stratford-upon-Avon and District Radio Society will be running Golf Bravo 2 Whiskey Sierra. This is part of the commemoration of the 400th anniversary of the death of the world-famous playwright and poet. Operation will be on the main HF bands from a town centre location overlooking the route of the events parade. To celebrate the 84th IRTS AGM, the IRTS logo has been bounced off our nearest neighbour in space through the good offices of Andreas Delta Juliet 5 Alfa Romeo. The logo was transmitted by Hotel Bravo 9 Quebec as SSTV using 1000 watts into a 10 metre solid dish. The receiving station was Papa India 9 Charlie Alpha Mike with the 25 metre radio telescope. Physics World report that a new, simpler, cheaper and potentially more effective way to prevent radio antennas from picking up unwanted signals has been created by researchers in the US of A. The laws of electromagnetism work exactly the same way if you run time in the opposite direction. One logical consequence of this is that an antenna designed to broadcast at a certain radio frequency will also be very good at absorbing radiation at that frequency. This is problematic for broadcast radio antennas which will absorb radiation that has bounced back from surrounding objects, something that can have a negative impact on their operation. While there are ways of minimising the effect of these echoes, they can be expensive and reduce the performance of the antenna. Now, At the University of Texas in Austin, they've developed a new way of dealing with echoes. Their design is based on a traditional leaky wave antenna in which electromagnetic waves of certain frequencies couple to the space surrounding the antenna and leak out as they travel along it. The new YouthNets page on the ARRL website is designed to serve as a clearinghouse for information about amateur radio nets aimed at youth participation. During those dry spells between bigger operating events such as school club roundups, kids day and field day, regular participation in the net helps to develop operating skills and confidence and it builds connections within community of young hams. A few nets are already listed but the ARRL invites any nets aimed at young radio amateurs to post and share their information on the ARRL Youth Nets webpage. Juliet Alpha 4 Golf X-Ray Sierra will be active from Naka Island, IOTA AS200, uh, Shikoku Islands, April 17 and 18, as Juliet Alpha 4 Golf X-Ray Sierra Stroke 5. You will be operating on 40, 30, uh, 20, 17 and 15 meters CW and SSB. A group of three ham radio operators are currently active from Timor Leste until April 11. Uh, Timor Leste is Oscar Charlie 148, and they're using call signs for Whiskey 7 Kilo 4 Quebec Oscar Kilo, for Whiskey Stroke Juliet Quebec 2 Golf Yankee Uniform, and for Whiskey Stroke Juliet Juliet 2 Victor Lima Yankee. They will be operating 160 to 10 meters CW, SSB, and RITI. Zulu Lima 1 Mike Romeo Charlie will be active from Muri, Rarotonga Island, IOTA OC 013, uh, April 13 to 22 as Echo 51 Mike Romeo Charlie. He will be operating on HF bands. 
Oscar Econayan in Sierra Bravo Delta will be active from Brunei April 18 to 22 as Victor 85 stroke Oscar Econayan Sierra Bravo Delta. He will be operating on HF bands CW. Lima Uniform 4 Delta X-ray Uniform will be active from Easter Island April 16 until 29 as Charlie Echo Zero Yankee stroke Lima Uniform 4 Delta X-ray Uniform. He will be operating on 80 to 6 meters single sideband. Delta Lima 1 Romeo November Tango will be active again from Ambudu Island, Maldives, IOTA AS013 until April 17, S8Q7 November Tango. He will be operating on 40 to 10 meters CW, RITI and PSK using vertical antennas. Unit Alpha 1 X-ray Golf India will be active from Samoa April 19 until 25, as 5 Whiskey Zero X-ray Golf. He will be operating on HF bands. Seven ham radio operators will be active from Corsica Island, IOTA EU 014, 22 till 25 April, as Tango Kilo 9, Charlie. They will be operating on HF bands. Eight ham radio operators will be active from Hawar Island, part of Hawar Islands, Gulf of Bahrain, IOTA AS202, April 28 until May 1st, as Alpha 91, Hotel India. They will be operating on HF bands. Radio amateurs from Ukraine will be active until May 1st from Ethiopia as Echo Tango 7 Lima. Echo Tango 7 Lima is the call sign of INSA Radio Club located in Maika Nisa, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. They will be setting up antennas for low bands including 160 meters. On low bands activity is expected during weekends. Delta Golf 5 Lima Alpha Charlie will be active from German Anrum Island, Amrum Island, I must say, near Denmark. IOTA Echo Uniform 042. April 30 until May 6, he will be operating 80 to 10 meters single sideband. Papa Alpha 5 Mike will be active from Guinea uh, in April and May as 3 X ray Yankee 5 Mike. He will be operating on HF bands plus 6 meters. Lima X-Ray 1 Alpha Mike is a special call sign which will be activated in Luxembourg the whole month of June to mark the 95th anniversary of His Royal Highness the Grand Duke John of Luxembourg. Luxembourg Amateur Radio Union will be working LX1 AM on single sideband and as LX1 Echo Alpha and LX3 X-Ray in digital modes.